we've said weeks before that we have many sets here, right? And they're all playing a little different, right? All in the different hands of different competitors. So d the results may vary, obviously. Uh, Gamer B is one of those people who has been holding his team very, very much with this Seth gameplay. Round one. Fight. Here we go. Gamer B versus Punk. It's going to be Karen versus Seth. You got to imagine, I think Ten Dimension is going to play a very vital role in this, but not after this whiff punish against the heck of Tonkeries. You thought you could just build meter in front of me? What are you buffering? Once again, though, this is a, another match we have to punt out. A team battle, I should say, where it's all on punk. Oh. No, or CJ Truth. Excuse, this, no, CJ Truth lost. No, they're both out. Yeah, it's all punk right now. OCD situation, but Gamer B... Uh, a little bit too far out to convert. Yeah, gets a side switch as well. Yeah, it's Mad Cradle. Mm, big up. damage. Stun on the table. If I didn't wake up and hit these buttons, get away from me, Gamer B. Punk takes the first round. Shoe fly don't bother me indeed. <laughs> I see you, Tracy Steve. <laughs> Throwing out the cross strong as a buffer tool. Oh, the whiff punish on the spin kick. Very good awareness there on the spacing from Punk. Wow. Yep. Whiff punish. <laughs> Just even the stand line kick, every little bit helps. You gotta get it in their heads. You can't throw these normals for free. Do you know who I am? Thomas Edison of Footsies. Look it up. Open a book. Read a book. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Dash up twice. EX for Sandhawk. Get off me. No meaties. I don't respect your setup. I like this. Just walking back and forth to the stand line kick, Gamer B. V reversal gets the knockdown. Oh, oh, music picks up. Seth's in danger. Is Seth in danger though? Is Seth in danger really? I mean, life lead in favor of Punk right now. Slowly chipping away at the life. Trigger dwindling down as well. But one solid hit is actually going to spell death for Karen. Same could be said for Seth. Oh, oh, that could have been. That could have been game. Or the round, excuse me. You're going to give Punk another chance? Oh, he could have confirmed that into V-Trigger. You want to give Punk another chance? Trying to oh. save the meter. What are you doing? P-E-X dash through. Nice, nice, nice. And still got the back throw. That could have been E-X mad cradle, but he still you could. That's v, that's v trigger one. You literally could. There's still a gap there, but there were special moves that you could have canceled into trigger to go a lot closer to that chip out. A lot closer to that chip out. I think once he's in V-Trigger, he doesn't really know what to do. Yeah, yeah. he's just doing low forward. Yeah. So I was just waiting to get super to punish him. Yeah, yeah. I don't think those are the right combos that he was doing. Mm. Could be wrong. I wonder if I could sweep the thing. I can try at least. You could at least, worst case scenario is you can stand medium kick. Yeah, I know I can do that. I think, what is it, negative seven? I think Cameron Sweep is seven frames. Are you saying light spin kick? Yeah. It's minus eight. At least. I think her. I think it's eight frames or seven. Her sweep. Yeah, probably. Mm. If you crouch heavy X hands, but I doubt he's ready for that. You got this. So crouching heavy kick from Karen is indeed nine frames. Mm. Okay. So although he has the right idea of what to punish for minus eights, I don't think sweep would be the answer. Lots of back. Honest footsies play right here corner now punk just tries to hop out no back you go oh There's great counter hit conversion into the twin fang knocked down with the axe kick instead wow what a check from punk back throw there's the activation gets the crouch and medium punch ca is on the table backing off as soon as the momentum is lost right no v trigger on deck but one touch into critical art is possible for punk Oh, oh, activate. Boy. Yeah, this should be round if played properly. Oh, no. No, no what? spin. Oh, you didn't spin the V-Trigger. What are you doing? What was that? That was the that was the round that was again. Game. That's the second time. What is game? What is on Gamer B's mind? Even if he wasn't sure, what was that like? It was heavy into heavy Hecaton Crease. You could still extend that combo into Crouch Jab. Yeah. Right? Actually, we saw him do that. Crouch Jab, Mad Cradle. Maybe nerves kicking in. Oh, boy. A couple of instances right here where Gamer B had these rounds seemingly locked in and just.
just not having the awareness of some of these situations to I don't I'm not sure. And no reminder from the teammates from Dynamite exactly. either. We gotta remember, man, Seth this these are side characters for a lot of these guys, and I oh, think they might boy. have this this is the only set this team knows apparently. I love the consistency of Punk being oh. able to anti-air with the EX Tenko. That's so hard to to really spot out. There we go. Doesn't go for the side switch this time around. Saving oh. that V-Trigger. Oh, you got this, right? I think the stun, I mean. Oh, we got oh, wow. very, so very lucky. fortunate that he still managed to Bro, get that hit against Punk. <laughs> I don't think he knows the combos. <laughs> Final round. A lot of games right now. I know, uh, Vicious, you mess with Seth a little bit. I've touched Seth a little bit. There's a few extensions that this character has that I'm not sure that Gamer B is 100% aware. Right. Or maybe right. he's just not spending it because he's trying to conserve it. That's going to oh, cost them the set. Yeah. Bro. That's a that's, deal. That's the set? Nice. Holy f***. You're so good. Oh, my God. All right. Just like last time. Holy f***. Run it back. Same movie again.